just how you planned it Life could put you in a pickle, just make sure it's kosher Lean on me like real witness until you smell the roses What's happening fam? LA all movement still moving out. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, man. The addictions that are killing everybody. Money, food, drugs, sex. You know, feel like bone thugs and harmony. For the love of money. Gotta make that money, man. So uh some people, you know, they some people are addicted to money. And in a bad way. And I'm not talking about people who getting it. I'm talking about people who want it. You know, addicted to the idea of having it. To the point that they'll do some unscrupulous things to get it. You know, if you'll cheat somebody, if you'll scam somebody, if you'll steal from somebody, if you'll use somebody to get money, you're addicted to money. And, I, and those type of people normally are the type of people who want money so they could buy some expensive, frivolous thing. You know, some, some you know, uh, luxury car or luxury clothing, you know. I got Gucci, I got that Louis Vuitton bag. I got, shut up, just shut up. They want to do anything to feel important by buying something to make them feel important, even though they may not have worked for it. You know, and some people are, are addicted to it because you know, they want to floss and flex on people, and, and, and money's the avenue to get it. You know, you know, it's not money isn't the root of all evil, it's the love of money that's the root of all evil. When you love money more than you love life or people, you know, you willing to do anything to uh, destroy somebody's life or, or destroy people just so you can get a quote-unquote leg up. Financially, you're addicted. And, and that, that can put you on the path with somebody else who wants revenge. Um, the other thing, I would say food, in my opinion, is the number one killer, the number one addiction that's killing everyone. Not drugs, it's food. Like, I've never seen this many um, overweight people in my life, ever. I've never seen this many overweight people in my life, and these overweight people do, do stuff that you know is going to kill them, like, you're overeating. You need to cut it down. You need to, to, you know, too, too much salt, too much sugar, too much fat, too much fried food, too much going out to eat, too much double and triple and quadruple portions. I, I, I see you. I see you. I see you. You know what I'm saying? You get tired going up an escalator, and that ain't even using the stairs. You, you, it's a problem. It's a problem. You know, but people are addicted. You know, I got to, oh, I got to, I'm hungry. I got to eat. No, you're not hungry. Not. No, you're definitely not hungry. You just, you 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 you're glutton at this point. You you're greedy at this point. Young having a lot of health problems. You know you got you got kids, not even ten years old having health problems. Kids looking like the Michelin Man. You know Pillsbury Doughboys, Big Brother. Because people are addicted to food. Just like hey, it, it can taste good, but you need to wear that back. You know your heart can only take so much. And it's a problem. And then you got people addicted to, to, uh, to drugs. Some of these people are the same people that's addicted to food too, which that's a double whammy, right? And in my opinion, that's that's that's, that's terrible. You know, you got some people who got a weed problem, some people got a drinking problem, um, some people got a you know, schedule one narcotic problem. You know, cocaine, meth, heroin. You know. Fentanyl now, whatever. And and now it's like that addiction is killing them. They can't they can't they're they're ran by it. Their their, their decision making goes by it. You might you might lose your, your family behind it. You might lose your life behind it. Because you just gotta get it, gotta get it. And it's sad to say, but that that's it's very problematic. Speaking of that, you know, you know, you hear people who do drugs always say it's not that bad. They gonna say it's not that bad because they can't, they they can't, they really can't judge well because they're they're really out of it. So expect them to say something crazy like that. But the reality is that they, they're not doing too well. Um, and then let me finish off with this one: like, you know, sex is you know people's addiction to sex is killing everybody. 
You know, you might not wind up with AIDS, but you're going to wind up with KIDS, and that's going to kill you too. Yo, quick fast and hurry. All the stress. Um, some of y'all, too many of y'all are addicted to sex, the wanting sex, the, 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 the yearning for it, the cherishing it, the chasing it, to the point that you're losing in life because you, you're addicted to sex. I've seen people who, who thought sex was the end-all, be-all. You know, 10, 20 years go by, and when their sex drive dies down, or when they've done all the things that they want to do sexually, then they look up and they go, I missed, I missed a portion of my adult life doing this? I'm behind. Because sex was that, just, just sex, 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 sex. Some people went broke chasing sex. Some people uh, broke themselves chasing sex, you know, because they're addicted to it. It's killing, it's killing everybody. You know, some people got pregnant, got multiple kids, just chasing sex. Don't worry about it, I'm going to keep doing it. Eh. And then you wake up one day and you go, oh my God. You know, I got the weight of the world on my shoulders because I couldn't control my sexual urges. And I ain't even getting to the STDs. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all burning like Johnny Blaze, you know. Y'all could be in the Fantastic Four, because <laughs> you on fire. Um, and, and still having sex, because it's that important to you. Some of y'all addicted to sex is not having sex, and y'all y'all masturbating y'all life away. You ain't doing nothing. Y'all just in there, just, just, you know. You, 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 you done went uh, Dragon Ball Z Ultra Instinct on that thing. You just, you just, uh, you know, but hey, Kamehameha in your own self. Just anyway, you know, it becomes an addiction. And then, and then you become socially awkward because, you know, you you all sex, 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 sex. Looking like Ron Jeremy out this month. But I'm going to leave it at that. Tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.